The good ground for your offerings concept is not scriptural. Instead, the good ground is your heart, the seed is God's word, the fruit is your character, the vine dresser is Christ, and the vineyard master is the Father himself. And so then, does that negate the seed principle? No, it does not. See, the seed principle is a very valid teaching, but has been terribly abused by wicked shepherds seeking to fleece sheep. So, the seed time and harvest principle is born out of the words that God said to Noah and his family when they stepped out of the ark. These are the words. It's found in Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, cold and heat, winter and summer, and day and night shall not cease. Herein is the principle of seed time and harvest. It is both applicable and aligns with both natural and spiritual laws. So now, for the actual principles to work, six issues must be considered, which I am now going to name. Number one, scarcity denotes sowing time. If what you have in your hands is too little, it is not your harvest, but seed. Sow it. Two, seeds always beget their kind. You cannot sow mangoes and expect apples. Three, seeds require the right environment. So if you sow your seed into the wrong environment, it cannot germinate. Therefore, the ground on which you sow matters immensely. Four, seeds must die first to germinate. Until the seed dies first, it will never become a seedling which inevitably leads to a tree with fruit. Five, seeds must be watered. Watering and tending creates the right environment for the seedling to grow into a full-blown tree. If the tending is not done, the seed or tree in this case will die. That's an abortion. And number six, seeds contain infinite potential. Every seed contains within it not just a tree with fruit, but fruit with countless seeds, which all contain other trees with countless seeds as well. This translates to forests. So every seed contains a forest. Think about that. Now the earlier is the correct teaching on seed time and harvest. This applies to money as well. The key lies in understanding what seeds are for and which principles and laws are triggered. Seeds can activate both natural and spiritual laws as they are being planted. I practice seed sowing, but I do it with full understanding. Many don't. 